Hello friends, welcome back to my channels in tutorial Science with Durva here to guide you through mathematics now and forever. Please, if you are following this channel, please make sure that you like the channel, you follow the channel and then of course please subscribe as well as please share it with maximum of your friends, especially your friends, those friends like especially my video actually I came up with this channel. Uh, because I know that many students are having uh, facing lots of problems during this especially this lockdown uh, lockdown sorry lockdown uh, because like everybody cannot afford a smartphone isn't it everybody cannot afford a smartphone for some in one family there's only one smartphone so the parents have to use it so when your online classes are going on you may not be able to attend the online classes at the right time because there's only one phone at home your parents may have taken it with you uh, with them so it's all right don't feel burdened like don't feel down on yourself i'm there isn't it i'm there for you guys only so that's why like i've come up with this channel so that when your parents come back home you can tell them okay well, our teacher uh, there is a guide who has come up with some videos who is going to help us with the, the learning process so after that you know, later on evening time you can just go through my channel of course i'll be sequentially uh, following class 11 syllabus yeah, even after the lockdown ends also okay so i've started this all for you and some of course may not be able to join classes during like when the online classes are going on your networks may not be good enough so it's all right you try to attend if you're not able to attend the classes it's okay you can log on to my channel and then of course you can kindly like go to uh, the topics which i discuss at the best of my abilities and before we really proceed i will be focusing mainly on your board examinations only that is like i'll be focusing more on solving problems uh yeah solving problems uh, on most of the exercises now if you have watched my first video that is a quick quick intro on a very quick intro on number system then that's really going to benefit if not please go back check there is a video which says a quick intro on number system especially meant for class 11 because what we are going to discuss here sets is going to be very important uh, because without the knowledge of number system it's really going to be very difficult for you to carry on okay because mathematics we are going to be studying mathematics mathematics is all about numbers without numbers what are we going to study isn't it so it becomes very important for us to know the entire range of numbers so uh, like because you, it, the, all those number systems should be like at the back of our head, no? It's like these are called like foundations, isn't it? So definitely, I believe nobody has seen like a pakka or an RCC building built on top of like a bamboo hut, you know? That the building is going to crumble down, isn't it? Foundation is very important, so your foundation has to be very strong. Then only like we can step on it and then we can proceed. So please go through that. I made it very short and quick, so you go through that particular video also. And then if you have liked it, definitely hit the like button also. All right, so let's moving back, uh, I mean, coming back to a point like sets. Sets, let's, I, so I will begin the sets assuming that you have gone through that video or your, you have a very sound knowledge about numbers, right? Sets. See, everyone will come up with this definition. What is a set? By name. Uh, set is a well-defined collection of objects. A set is a well-defined collection of objects, so you must be already fed up to feed. Jello, arrow, same definition, piercing, isn't it? You must be really bored with this like particular definition. A set is a well-defined collection of objects, but it is very important because without this, like, uh, without having this definition, without having a clear idea about this definition, there is no sets. Okay, so definitely I'm here to discuss what are sets in this first, first video. So before we just jump into sets and then before we start building things, you know, I'll be focusing more again, not on theoretical stuff. Like, let's try to take common examples, but a set is like a well-defined. So here there are like two key words, you know, well-defined. This is going to be very important for us and of course like objects. So set is a well-defined. Now, what do you mean by well-defined collection of objects? Now, basically, of course, in mathematics, we are not going to be dealing much with 
uh, objects like tables, chairs, planets, uh, baskets, footballs. No, we're not going to be dealing more on that. So when you like focus like on the mathematical point of view, we will be like more focused on numbers, like for objects. Like so, it's like a well-defined collection of numbers or alphabets, no? Or alphabets and so on so more on the mathematical part of course definition is collection of objects so like but more on the mathematical part definitely we're not going to be collecting objects okay but the main thing is like well defined now what do you mean by well defined so it's like a set it's like a collection okay so like uh, you have to collect things but it should be well defined so like we cannot go for collecting things if we do not know what to collect if we don't have a clear idea on what to collect then the confusion starts like, you know, there is a big confusion. Suppose if I say, Chalo, you go and collect all the beautiful flowers. Go and collect. I'll give you a basket. Yeah, you know, you know, go out and collect all the beautiful flowers. No, generally flowers are all beautiful, isn't it? There, I don't think there is any flower that is not beautiful. But like that depends on a person. No? So some of you may be like really fed up with Dahlia. Some of you might like marigold. I don't have much knowledge about flowers, but... Some of you may like, like uh, what do we call it, uh, lilies or orchids and all, but that may not be very fascinating for some of you. So like that depends. This perspective, this quantitative, um, this qualitative things like it depends. So these are like not well defined. So what collection am I going to bring? So you might go and bring all the good flowers that you feel are beautiful. It might not be beautiful to me, isn't it? That collection of flowers may not be beautiful to me. So these are like not well defined. But if I say okay go and collect all the yellow flowers then we all know what is yellow isn't it what is a yellow color so then of course you will have the basket which consists of only yellow flowers so like okay that's like well defined yellow flowers beautiful flowers still confusing mm -hmm. i might just say what you call this beautiful or not yeah, this is not beautiful at all isn't it but yellow flowers i cannot say no i cannot say yellow no this is not yellow this is red i cannot do that isn't it yellow is yellow so like that's what we mean by well defined so it should not create any confusion in the minds of the person who is collecting the things you know if i say go out and collect uh, i mean go and count how many boys are there in your neighborhood very simple very easy how many girls are there very easy but how many tall boys like tall like how do i how am i supposed to define how many good uh, singers like good singers like so that's also like quite a very difficult thing to you know uh, because singers also that's what happens in reality tv shows and all you know, like all of them are like good singers but according uh, it depends on the judges isn't it whom i like and whom i not like so even if you might be a very good singer i might not be really preferring your way of singing and all so that depends so these are not very well defined and that's what i mean in simple words well defined means it should not create any confusion in the minds of the person who is going out and like collecting things you should be able to very easily okay yeah, yeah 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 this 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 okay this is the collection okay so that's why set is nothing but a well-defined collection of objects but as i said earlier we are going to be dealing more on numbers and alphabets and all okay so please keep this definition in your mind and about numbers i'm not going to discuss because i told you already i've already discussed that in that first video so like let's discuss so you must be thinking chalo okay let me give you a very well defined collection of numbers like collection of the prime numbers collection of prime numbers less than 10 collection of prime numbers less than 10 so what are prime numbers less than 10 easy for us to define is the collection of prime numbers less than 10 2 3 5 7 so these are the prime numbers which are less than 10 so that was quite quick and easy collection of Positive even numbers up to four. Positive even numbers. Positive even natural numbers up to four. Two, four. Odd numbers. Positive odd numbers up to ten. One, three, five, seven, nine. Positive odd numbers up to ten. So these were like very easy. Multiples of three, multiples of five. No, these are like easy numbers, like well defined collection. So this is how we, this is what we call a set. Now the question that arises is, okay, how do we denote a set? How do we denote a set? There are two ways of usually denoting a set, okay? There are two ways of usually denoting a set. First one is called the 
roster form. The other second one is called the set builder form. Okay, so there are two ways of denoting a set. First is the roster form. Second is the set builder form. I used to say, you know, English is very important for a science student, especially for a mathematics students. We are out of that stereotype way, uh, method of learning now. English plays a very key role. You don't understand your words. You don't understand the sentences given in the question. Then you're going to have big trouble in understanding the question. So you don't understand the question in the first place. How are you going to solve? Roster, like we know, what is a roster? Is a roster is like a collection no? where we collect the people. That's what we call a roster, isn't it? Set builder form. We're going to build a set. So we have two forms of denoting sets. That is a roster form and the set builder form. Now let's go back to this question. What did I say here? Like a set, I mean a collection of prime numbers less than 10. A collection of prime numbers less than 10. Let's go to the roster form first. Now the roster form, remember, okay, one more notation that is a set is always denoted by capital letters. A set is always denoted by capital letters. Always. Any letter but capital letters. So remember I'm going to with the roster form, okay? So I'll denote this set A. Okay, and this with the set capital A. So if I have to denote that in the roster form, then I will be writing this in braces, this bracket. We call it the second bracket in Botmastral. Uh, we call it the we call it braces. We also call it cursive bracket brackets. No, so we always denote a set in the roster form in this fashion. So collection of positive even numbers, even natural numbers. So up to ten, two, four, six, up to ten. So ten also included. Two, four, six, eight, ten, like this. Maybe denote it by B. Okay, so that's how we denote a set in the roster form. Very simple, isn't it? Just these brackets, comma, comma, at every... Now, you see here, how many numbers have we got here? Four numbers, isn't it? Four, two, three, five, seven. Each of this, they are actually called members. Members of the set A or elements of the set A. Okay, so how many then? Fine. In that case, how many elements do we have in this set? Or how many members do we have in this set? We have here four elements or four members. How do we represent that again? That is simply by this. Number of elements in the set A. How many? Kidna? Four. That's how we denote. Small letter N. Okay. Small letter N. Number of elements in the set A equal to 4. What was the other set that I wrote? B was positive even numbers 2, 4, up to 10, 6, 8, 10. So here how many elements do we have in this set B? How many? 5. So please remember, take care of this notation. I hope you've noted it down. Please make sure you keep your pen, paper, everything along with you. You can pause your button, write down the notes again. No, that's the advantage of these videos, isn't it? Alright, so that's how we denote. And so now, so number of elements in the set A, 4. Other ways, like 2 is an element of A, isn't it? That means 2 actually belongs to the set A. 3 belongs to the set, sorry, A. That's how we can also write 5 belongs to the set A. 7 belongs to the set A. Do we see here 9? No, no. That means if somebody asks, I will say 9 does not belong to the set A. Actually, this notation, if you are not familiar, it means belongs to so so this one cross means does not belong to right so these are some of the notations okay so this was what the first one that was the roster form second form will be the set builder form so first one roster form checked second one set builder Form. So you can write this in many ways, okay? Set builder from second one. Uh, again, let's go back to the first example that I gave you. What was it? A collection or a set of prime numbers less than 10. How will I write? Definitely, I will denote this with a capital letter. Let's say D, any letter. No, again, this bracket, cursive brackets, braces. There are many ways to denote. One of the ways that I will denote is that means what you have to do is like you have to express in other words. No, you have to express this in words. No, just like as I said, uh, collection set of prime numbers 
up to 10 set of prime numbers up to 10 but slightly more mathematical in a more uh, symbolic way that is so two what were the numbers two three five seven isn't it what i'll do is you tell me whether you can really make out from that whether it will be really well defined i'll denote a set by a variable x you can use y z any variable what is x and everybody will be asking okay then what is x i'll define that x that will be like <clears throat> x is a prime number okay x is a prime number and x should be like less than 10 greater than 0 less than 10 then i think everybody anybody will be able to anybody who can read and understand will be able to write down this set isn't it so if I want to convert this in the roster form, x will be represented by the prime number such that x is greater than 0, less than 10, 2, 3, 5, 7, isn't it? So it should, again I repeat, uh, once a set is defined, it should not create any confusion in the minds of the one who is collecting, okay? So this is, there are many ways, okay, set builder form, there is no specific way that, okay, you know, you have to write like this, no. You can express that in your own words, no problem. As long as it doesn't create any confusion in the mind of the teacher of us. Everybody should understand what you have written. I should be able to form sets. That's it. So X, what is X? X is a prime number. Okay. Kahan tak? Kahan se kahan tak? From where to where? Keep in mind, X greater than 0. Chalo. Less than 10. 2, 3, 5, 7. Simple as that. Right. So that's the set builder form. Okay, that's how we denote. So set builder form checked. So we have studied here two forms of representing a set: set builder form and the roster form. And before I really leave, uh, before I leave, I just want to say that sets. Of course, there are some groups of numbers. So we have some letters which we generally denote slightly differs from textbook to textbook. But like this P, capital P, is generally used to denote a set of uh, prime numbers. Okay. Uh, n generally used to denote set of natural numbers so whenever you see further on capital n it means that they want you to discuss about natural numbers whole w whole numbers no we have i we have z integers uh, yeah integers we have positive integers we have rash rational numbers so you can go through your textbook definitely all these groups will be given to you so I believe I have like uh, molded you and got you ready for solving the first exercise. So first exercise, we're not going to be discussing much here. Please like you try and solve the first exercises because it's basically based on the topics that I've discussed. Okay, so finally, if you have liked this video, please hit the like button. Please do subscribe, share with your friends. So definitely please uh, keep in um, yeah, once you subscribe, definitely you'll be getting notifications. So in the next video, we will describe, uh, discuss about different types of sets. And we're just going to go on and on and on and on and finish up everything. Okay. All right. Please stay safe. Stay at home. Thank you.